It is Tanya Gibson Smith. Welcome and welcome back. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And listen, let's talk about subscribing, okay? I do have a fair amount of subscribers and I am so grateful and so thankful to every one of you who have been supporting my channel and following me this far. But I will say that when I check the algorithm, I have more watchers than I do subscribers. If you would go ahead and just subscribe so that you can get updates every time I upload a new video, that will help me, that will help this channel so that I can continue to bring my journey. I won't say so much as content, or maybe, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, whatever you think it is. <laughs> Let's hop right into the video. in the hotel as you can see um i've been here since friday today it, no i'm sorry i've been here since saturday i drove on saturday i drove 11 hours on saturday and i think i, I put in my last video on the end of that clip i drove my entire dot clock on saturday um so i did i came to the hotel on saturday evening and I've been here ever since. Today is Thursday. The reason I've been here so long is because there's been an adjustment in my training. So I won't go into a lot of detail, but what I will say is Hershbot wants the best for you. Um, when you come out to train here, um, just make sure that you pay attention in Dubuque. Pay attention um, when you go through the training course. They're going to tell you what to expect during your phase two. Um, you'll get paperwork and orientation. There is a long list of evaluation that is supposed to take place. And you have access to all of what you're supposed to be learning on these forms um, so please pay attention get the best out of your training when you step into phase two you should already expect and know what to expect okay um, so enough of that I have been reseated meaning um, I'm getting on a truck with another trainer however I'm on to the next uh, phase in my phase two. And with that being said, there's only one phase in phase two, okay? Unfortunately, in my case, there is a second phase in my phase two. Um, so now I am loaded up. I'm on my way out to meet my second trainer. And I uh, don't know how much videoing I will be doing, but this guy is straight by the book. <laughs> he is, uh, you know, serious about training me, making sure that I get my hours and making sure that I am knowledgeable as to what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. And then I'm confident in doing it when I get by myself. I spoke to him. That is what I got from him. I'm grateful to be able to continue this far or the rest of my journey. <laughs> um, so yeah, just wanted to update you all. Um, listen, I want to encourage everyone who is coming in to Hirschbach. Do not be afraid to speak up. Um, if it don't feel right, it's not right. If you have been trained in Dubuque, which I know you will be, and you will be told uh, what to expect, expect that. If you're not getting what you expect, then speak up, 
okay? Um, you're not hurting anybody's feelings. This is your career. In my case, this is my career, my life, the rest of my life. You guys know that I moved out of my house and into a storage. Um, as of this morning, I just gave my car back. I'm just trying to cut down on a lot. So, um, you know, that when I get on my truck, I can just drive free, be free, pay as minimal bills as possible, live on my truck, see the country, and pray to the Lord for safety each and every day. So, God bless you all, and um, I guess I'll probably be back, maybe videoing him picking me up. He's going to leave his trailer um, at the terminal, and he's going to pick me up in the bobtail. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the bobtail is just the tractor. The trailer itself will be left over at the terminal um, here in Illinois. And yeah, so I'll record what I can. And um, once again, I'll be uploading on Sunday. So. Um just wanted to drop in briefly to uh, give you guys an update. I know the last video that I made, I went over everything that um, I did for the week. Uh, told you guys about my trainer's truck. Had been in the shop for a couple of days. Um, also kind of gave you all the uh, roundabout as to what I've learned so far. Um, I'm going to try to walk as light as I can because this is a bittersweet moment. And the reason I say that is because um, I told you guys in the beginning my trainer was cool as a fan. Okay? He was cool or is. He is cool as a fan um but we had a few heated moments and in those moments uh it wasn't anything personal at all it was about training um and like i said i'm gonna try to walk as light as i can but Considering my husband has um, been driving a truck for a few years and I've got a spiritual daughter who has been driving for 20 years, you know, I think I knew what I was supposed to know. And also, um, you know, I value the training I received in Dubuque. And I was told, or we was told as a group, what we should look look forward to in our training when we get into phase two. Just to make a long story short, I have been reseated, meaning I'll be getting on the truck with another trainer. Um, I think I told you guys before that my uh, trainer was dedicated, meaning we only went to certain areas. So... Um, with him, I went to Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and um, Ohio. And that was the dedicated route that we went in, uh, Midwest, right? Uh, so, yeah, it was... A phenomenal experience. Guys, I don't know if you are like me or not about Italian food, but if you are and you're ever in the Chicago area, listen, these four little guys, woo, baby, oh my gosh, somebody. Mm, mm, mm. I dug in before I could even get a good video and I hadn't even opened it up my garlic bread yet. 
Oh my goodness. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. I don't y'all just look at here. Oh glory. Mmm. I was gonna try to pronounce the name, but you know what? I don't even wanna mess it up. Chicago's greatest thin crust. Listen, I'm a spaghetti kind of girl, okay? I love spaghetti. And I will just about eat anybody's spaghetti. <laughs> so I'm not exaggerating when I tell y'all that this here, baby, if you're in Chicago, this is where you want to stop at right here. Can you see him? too funny so <laughs> so that truck was not my trainer <laughs> i had to laugh at myself y'all i'm so ready to get on this truck i'm about to just get on anybody's truck <laughs> so that was not my trainer he is over at the cracker barrel enjoying his lunch i guess i don't know <laughs> So I literally was trying to get on this man's truck. But anyway, well, no, I wasn't trying to get on his truck. Let me rephrase that. I saw a dog in his window. And so as soon as I saw the dog, I was thinking, wait a minute, my dog, my, my trainer don't have a dog. But sad to say, my trainer does have a cat, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something, I hate cats. I despise cats. Well, a cat jumped in my face when I was, just a kid and my cousin snatched him off my face he did not um luckily prayerfully thankfully he did not scratch my face but she snatched him off my face and uh from that moment forward i've just had this bad phobia about cats so this is really gonna be a challenge but anyway yeah so as soon as i saw that dog stand up in his window I was like, that is not my trainer. <laughs> so, okay, y'all. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, the next Hershey Bank truck come through here is mine. <laughs> Later. Okay. This is him, y'all. It is really him this time. <laughs> it is really him this time. 